Hey guys, it's Tinker Taylor here today, bringing you another one of these um, videos for this build. So this is the boarding house build. If you have not caught it, there are already two other sections up. I believe the first one deals mostly with the outside, like building the build and also um, some of the other buildings, maybe. Uh, definitely a lot of the landscaping and um like the the scammy fence i did uh and then the second one deals with some of that stuff as well uh but also the kitchen um which is like i would say 80 percent done i i say that because i've done it as if no one kind of lives there it's kind of set up like a show home and i want to go through and kind of make this look like people live here um so yeah, we dealt with the kitchen, and this video is completely dedicated to the library study section, whatever this is. Um, so this is a place for um, the kids to come study, uh, hang out, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. It's not just um, a, a library, but it's like a study space, or if you want to work on assignments, or even hanging out, it's got some hangout spots. Um, so it's it's kind of a, a multi-use room, I guess. Um, and it, it took me a very long time, hence why this video was so long and so sped up. So I um, I did about two and a half hours off stream, so that's this first bit here. So when we hit about 18 minutes, I would say, um, yeah, just after 18 minutes, um, that is where I actually jump over to the bit that I did on stream. Now I'm really hoping because I've changed, uh, stream, uh, I don't even know the word that, um, like where I stream from, um, I've been able to cut out some things that I haven't been able to cut out on the other streaming tool platform thing. And I'm really, really happy that I've been able to cut them out. I really hope it works because last time I forgot to press record. Um, it might, I, so I used to use OBS and now I'm trying out Streamlabs. OBS, you click go live and it also records for you. Um, but on Streamlabs, I believe you have to click go live and record. I don't think there's a, a multi option. If there is, please definitely let me know. I also haven't looked that hard, so I have no idea if it, it, it is a thing or it isn't a thing. Um, so yeah, basically, I, I probably just haven't looked hard enough. Um, and yeah, I'm really hoping when we get to about 18 minutes, you won't even notice the change, I mean, you will because I am in a different spot, it like jumps to a different spot of the build, but that you wouldn't know that that's because I started streaming um, instead of the fact that like maybe I just paused recording and came back to it later, um, which technically I did. But yes, this is, like I said before, focusing solely on the library. Um, I have not done any more of this build. This bit yeah, that you're seeing was done how many days ago three days ago and then after about 18 minutes it's from yesterday so i'm like keeping up with the build and getting a fair chunk of it done every time but like, i'm nowhere near finished um i'm probably gonna do um a video just on some of the bedrooms and then I'll probably do a video on, uh, or maybe the bedrooms and the bathrooms that are on that level. Um, and then I might do a video on sort of like the entrance way and then maybe a final one on, or I say the entrance way, it's like the, the bottom floor with the, um, I'm going to put like a sitting area and something else. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna figure out what to do down there. So like an, a, a, a reception area, I guess, and then like a lounge, um, and then maybe a yeah, I, don't, I have no idea. Uh, but then I've also got to finish the laundry and the 
dining area. And then, yeah, the final one will be fi finishing up outside and the greenhouse. So that's, what is that? Bedroom, the second floor, ground floor, basement, outside. So four more videos, hopefully. So that's about seven videos total um, for this build, which I don't like doing massive parts. But I feel like because I'm doing them in big chunks like this, like it's not just... You know, I'm randomly doing random bits and pieces everywhere. I feel like it's okay. Um, you know, I'm focusing on the library in this one, and then the next one will be like the actual living spaces, and then the one after that will probably be the um, communal areas, and then the one after that will be the dining space, and then the final one is the exterior and the greenhouse. Um, oh, and probably the pool as well. I gotta finish that off because it's a little empty in there but I don't know what I want to do um so yeah that's probably like I feel like this entire month is just going to be this build um which I'm not mad at but I don't want to be doing these huge builds all the time so I've got a few smaller builds that I have in mind um and I really I'm not sure which one I want to do first so I have a bunch of builds that I want to do and I I'd planned before CC so I'm gonna do some no CC builds after throwing myself into this one um and then yeah we'll we'll throw some CC builds in there every once in a while um and I feel like I'm gonna do some challenges where I do two small identical builds except ones with CC and ones without and let's see if I can sort of mimic the no CC I'm oh, sorry the CC build how well I can mimic it with um just like Maxis stuff like EA stuff um I think that would be kind of fun to do and would kind of help me get outside my little box of being stuck in terms of like I don't know what I'm doing uh, I don't know like uh, how do I how do I make this better how do I make this cooler and yeah hopefully I can do that for you guys uh because I'm super excited to just keep sharing um so yeah um also this is like the fourth time i've tried recording this video i tried having music in the background and every time i try and do that it's either way too quiet and you can't even hear it so there's no point to even having it on but it's blasting in my ears or it's really really loud and competing with my voice so i could not figure that out um and i'm gonna try and do that a little later because I've spent maybe half an hour on that already, and I just don't want to do that anymore. Um, yeah, if you know how to use Streamlabs and not cry, that would be really helpful. Um, I might try a different way next time because there's a bunch of different ideas I have that I could do, um, and we'll see see what works, see what happens, if it does or doesn't work. Um, I know I have some playlists that I do like, um, some of the playlists I've found and tried out I know I don't like, but I do have ones I know I do like, so hopefully in the future we will have some music in the background, because I'm kind of tired of having silent video, oh I say silent, I'm talking, but I'm sure most of you would appreciate a little bit of calming vibes in the background instead of listening to my weird gravelly um and ahs. I, I don't know why I said gravelly. Um, yeah, just like, I'm sure listening to some music would be more entertaining than listening to my voice. Um, because sometimes I listen to it and I'm like, yeah, cool, I understand why people don't want to listen to your videos. You're kind of just rambling on about nothing and you should try and figure out what you're saying. Uh, I used to like, when I first started doing videos, I was so concerned about that and I'd write down a list of things that I would talk about and I'd be like, all right, I'm going to talk about this and I'm going to talk about this and, you know, I'm going to try and time it out so that's this long and, it, you know, it fits in the video and blah, blah, blah. And now I'm kind of like, all right, what do I talk about? All right, these five things, cool. Start talking about them and then five minutes in, I'm done. I've talked about all five things. Um, so maybe I should start doing that again. Um, another thing I definitely should do is actually talk about the build. Um, because this build was the death of me. I, I say the death of me, but it was. Like, it was just, this part took so long. I mean, 
for two and a half hours, the first 18 minutes, I'm just putting down books and clutter in the main part of the library. So there's two little side sections. I don't know if you've seen them yet, but I spend two hours, two and a half hours just doing that. And it was exhausting, absolutely exhausting. Um, and I was really ready to give up, but I didn't. I pushed through and I was like, just get this part done and then you can stream, oh, excuse me, stream the rest of it um, and get more motivation from people and getting input from them. So yeah, we had a lot to do. Um, and it, it was just very, very tiring and very stressful. Uh, but I did get a um once i move into the stream bit uh i actually figured out how the books fit together and so i just filled up some of the shelves with just books um and did it in a pattern so that it didn't look all the same and i alternated so i had three sets of shelves Oops, sorry let me try that again there are six shelves on each bookcase and I did three patterns and then, you know, I I do one on top, two on the, the next one, three on the bottom and then one, two. So it'd go one, two, three, one, two, three. But then the next bookshelf, I'd do two, three, one, two, three, one. So it was alternated. It wasn't identical on the same. Uh, and I just copied that to both sides and it really sped up the process. It got rid of about half the bookcases that I needed to fill in. And, the, um, and those are with the wider ones. And with the narrower ones, I just alternated the shelves that had um, the largest set of books on them. And then I put um, just random clutter objects in the remaining shelves. Um, so I tried to fill it out as best I could, make it a little different, a little fun. Um, but yeah, there was only so much I could do before I got very frustrated, very um bored with it um and i also did try and furnish the rooms that i was in as i was doing it so when we get to that later you'll see um i put some books down on the shelves but then i also put some desks down or some chairs or some fireplaces and art but i alternated between what i was doing so that i wasn't just placing books down for five hours straight yeah this this um uh i was gonna say audio sorry this video is five hours and 10 minutes 13 minutes five hours and 13 minutes long with every break being cut out of it as well so yeah it was a, a little bit longer than that but with all the breaks cut out it's five hours and 13 minutes of me putting books down for probably about four and a half of them. Oh, I'd probably say four hours. Um, so you can see why I was getting a little frustrated and a little exhausted with it, but in the end I got there and it was done and I didn't have to worry about it. So yeah, I'm very grateful that this section is finished and I'm very excited to move on to the next section. Um, but a lot of the, when I was doing this, a lot of the ideas came to me, and I'll be real, I've forgotten half of them already. But I wanted to do a museum, an art, like a yeah, an art museum, like a, a art gallery. That's the word I was looking for, art gallery, um, because there is just some beautiful paintings in this CC, um, and I would love to do. I mean, this one just came to me right now, but I've always wanted to do a a build inspired by, like, a, a really old hermit of a man who lives in this big grand house, sort of in this sort of style, but it's just filled with books everywhere and knickknacks and junk and, uh, I don't want to say junk, um, but just, like, artifacts. Like, he's he's gone traveling and he's collected things and he just... He, he collects knowledge, um, and that is something I definitely want to do. And I've been, I've I've tried replicating it a couple of times in builds where um, there's like apartments, and that's always been one I lean to. But I think I really want to heavily lean into that particular build, uh, like that particular idea. Um, but 
again, don't worry if you want to see more um, no CC builds, I will be doing that. Like, I, I won't just be doing CC. I will definitely be doing um, some no CC builds because I don't I don't want to just do it. Um, CC. There are some I say some collabs. There's one collab that I'm going to be a part of, and it doesn't allow CC, I believe. Um, and so yeah, we're 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 definitely doing some builds without it. Don't you worry. But I feel like it's definitely going to take play a prominent role for a while. Um until I probably break my computer and then I'll go back to not doing it at all. Um, like, I, like I said, I still will be doing some that aren't, but it'll be like 20 to 60%. I know that's a wide range, but I really can't fully predict what I want to do. Um, and I feel like when I do get to doing a no CC build, I'm going to get so stuck and so lost, but, um, I think that's a good thing because it's going to force me to be creative and I need that. I need to be forced to be creative. Um, I also apologize if you can hear the neighbor's dog barking this entire time. I've been trying to ignore it, but it hasn't stopped. Um, they're beautiful dogs. I've some sort of poodle mix thing. I don't know. They're super fluffy and super like curly, but they don't seem to like anyone existing uh, in their presence and something set them off right before I started recording so yeah they're not happy with whatever set them off but anyway um I'm I, I can't really complain because I live with dogs and they also bark not all the time um at our old place they would only bark if they could hear there was a distant neighbor whose dog would cry every morning. Like you could, you could tell that when that family left to go to work or school or whatever, because that dog would start crying for about half an hour. And then when they got home at night, it would cry again. And like, it, you'd think like, it sounded like it was getting hurt, but it wasn't because it was just consistent every single day leaving time. It was, I mean, the dogs I live with also cry when some of us leave. So I, I, I can identify the sounds. Um, and they would bark a little bit at that. And the dogs we have, the dogs would also bark at um, the wind. It got too windy. They didn't like it. Uh, and if anyone drove up our driveway. We had a bit of a long driveway. So cars going past on the road didn't matter. But a long driveway, like, they would hear us Coming up, which is actually kind of good and helpful, so we could, we knew before, we like you'd hear the cars, and we wouldn't be able to figure out if they were just a loud car on the road or if they were driving up. But if the dog started barking, it usually meant there was a car coming up the driveway, um, which was really handy. Um, but now we are a lot closer to a road, so they were barking a lot more. Um, and they can see people walking on the street and, oh, heaven forbid that happens. Uh, they do not like people walking. It's just, how, how rude, how dare you walk in front of my house on the opposite side of the road. Um, even, like, one of the neighbours was washing their car and one of the dogs was just not having it. It was not acceptable to be washing your car. Um, I think I can hear a bell for a school. That is strange. I've never heard that before. Anyway, um, yeah, long story short, apologies if you can hear dogs barking in the background. Uh, but now that we're actually getting into the, we've, we've moved into the stream section now, um, which you can't see any of my stream overlays or anything like that, which is fantastic. Um, but you can see that I've kind of, um, put books in random shell, or well, like in a pattern on the shelves and now I'm going and putting in some of the um items on the shelves to kind of make it more filled in um but I yeah these longer shelves here at the end are the ones that I don't do the random patterns on completely um but the rest of them I do because it just it saved me so much time doing that 
I think if I had a not done that, I probably would have cried. And trying to like put decorations on all the shelves, it was just not going to happen. Um, so yeah, that's sort of why we end up with what we have here. And I think this is where I go in and start to do it all. Um, so I had a little pattern going and they're all numbered, thankfully. So I would just go and find the number that I wanted to grab. And then you can see me going around and duplicating it on all the shelves and it just fills it in so much faster. Like already half of those shelves are filled in now because of that. I did also think about using some other types of books, but then I thought, it's just too inconsistent and I've already picked the book type and I'm not going back to change it. So we're just going to keep the one we have now and not cry because I can't, I can't do a bajillion things. I can't undo them all. I think I would probably lose my mind. Um, so yeah, we, that's why we ended up with what I did. Um, and yeah, this is basically me just trying to figure out how I can put these together, um, what sort of, like how, yeah, how they fit together and going around and putting them all in. And I also put them in on the opposite side. Um, so one of these bookcases, in case you didn't know, is a door, a secret door. Um, and anytime I put the walls down, it disappears. So you can see some floating books. That's where the bookshelf door thing is. Um, and if we ever do a tour of it, uh, which I believe I do have a little look through in tab mode. Um, you'll see the door on the back side in these rooms. I mean, I'm moving so super fast that you probably can't. But I will be doing like a little tour video. That That is something I'm definitely going to be doing. Um, probably a no audio. Yeah, you can kind of see the door there. Um, just below the roof. Yeah, there you go. Um, for a split second it gets shown there. Um, that's the door and on the other side it's just a bookcase. There is one that I believe is a open one or a an arch. I think it's an open bookcase, secret bookcase door. But I decided to make it a closed secret one just because aesthetically it looked better. Um, and yeah, that was a little sneak peek of the kitchen if you haven't seen it. Um... I'm also realizing that my video is slightly ahead of my audio. When I record, it's always like a couple of seconds ahead. So if I'm ever saying like, oh, there's that thing. Oh no, there it goes, there it disappears. I'm more than likely a couple of seconds off um, because of that, yes. But anyway, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, because like I said earlier, I've recorded this video like four times. Um, I streamed this part yesterday, um, so from about 18-ish minutes to the end, that's all streamed, um, and I will be streaming tomorrow and also later in the week, so if you would like to actually get involved in this build, uh, you actually can, um, which I'm, I really love. I love having people involved. I don't mind a bit of backseat builders uh because i am not i'm not the most confident person when it comes to building and i feel like i feel like what i need more than anything is just people helping me understand that i can make those decisions like i don't want everyone to make the decisions for me because then it's not my build i'm not building it and i don't i don't again i don't mind like collaborating builds but i also don't want to do builds where it's just what everyone else does. I want to be able to confidently rely on myself, which sometimes I can, sometimes I can't, sometimes I get overwhelmed. It's it's a lot. So just having a little bit of reassurance, I think that's what I need. Um, I feel like that's what a lot of us need. It's just a little bit of reassur reassurance that what we're doing is helping us in the right direction. And then we can just continue on with what we're doing. Um, you know, just a little bit of feedback. And that's what I like, so yeah. Um, it's also a fun little vibe over there. I am thinking of adding some cat related things because yes, I have a beautiful cat. Um, and I just got some treats for her, so I'm thinking of making some sort of 
street redeem thing, but I've got to figure out how to um, set that up. Like how to, how do I want to actually do it? Because at the moment it would only be audio. It wouldn't be visual. And I personally don't want to be in the visual, but to feed her a treat, I kind of sort of have to be a little bit. Um, so I'm going to figure that out, but I definitely, I reckon we're definitely going to have um, my cat involved a little bit more. Um, she's not normally very vocal. She can be sometimes, but usually she's not. And I gave her some treats earlier today to test them out because she's never tried them before. And oh boy, she was so vocal. So I think maybe, yeah, we'll have a little bit more of her involvement. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited for that. So if you want to hang out with Sims and cats, definitely the place to be. I do also play some other games um, sometimes. Not regularly, but sometimes. Um, like one of the other streamer people who I met plays Minecraft a bit and kind of got me back into playing. I felt that little itch of, oh, maybe I should play. Um, and so I did. And now I have a world with um, my best friend. Uh, we, we share an office space, so we play together. And I streamed that and we played together on stream. And it was really fun. So yeah, if you are interested in that, it's mostly Sims at the moment, but I might get into some variety games in the future. Um, and yeah, we'll basically see how it goes. Um, so yeah, if you want to see like me play different games or if you want to have like specific build requests, even if you want to see gameplay, I might even try and do some gameplay over there. I'm not entirely sure. I have not committed to anything really yet, but I am open to a lot. I think... Yeah, I think just being open to a lot and and malleable to change definitely helps. Um, I used to be very rigid in like, no, I, I can't change. I can't do this. I can't do that. I mean, that was me with CC. I was like, I absolutely cannot use CC. If I use CC, I'm like, the people aren't going to be able to use it. And uh, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. But now I'm like, you know what? Maybe people will just like to have a look at the aesthetics. I mean, I started watching people who build with CC just because it looked pretty and that was it. It wasn't because I wanted to use it or download it and have fun with it, but I don't know, CC, it, maybe CC is not terrible. Maybe it's not a, a terrible thing to use and now I'm using it. So I'm definitely being a bit more malleable and a bit more okay with change. Um, because yeah, I, I, have traditionally not been fun with change or okay with change. Um, but I think because my life changes so much all the time that I'm just like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Let's try that. Let's do this change. Let's do that change. And that's been really good. So, yeah. Um, long story short, if you want to see some fun things, if you want to see me play Sims, play other games, if you want to... Um, yeah, my cat at the moment. Um, I'm, I do want to get a kitty cam, but we'll we'll see about that. Um, yeah, but like th there's a bunch of things that I'm thinking about. Uh, I also do want to add audio to this these videos, but I have to figure out how to make it so that it's not ridiculously loud. Because uh, at the moment, that's all I'm capable of. I, I really, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and I think that's okay. I think learning and having fun with the process is, that's yeah, fine. I think it, it's, it's, we all learn, we all know how to do different things. We all, I mean, you, you can't just be perfect day one. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of interesting and fun to, to deal with that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, basically long story short, uh, if you want to see my streams, um, currently doing three streams a week, I will be updating my, 
um, calendar every week. Like the the you can see on Twitch when I plan to stream. I think I'll just manually do it every week because every week will probably be different for me. The next two weeks, so this week and next week, are going to be pretty consistent. But after that, I cannot promise consistency because uni starts to get a bit hectic around then. Um, so we will see. Uh, I might have to cut down a couple of days, like cut down one day to be able to stay on top of things. But hopefully I stop procrastinating and then I can keep on top of things and not have to give up on streaming. So yeah. Um, those are all just kind of the plans bouncing around inside my head. Um, and I, I like to verbalize them because otherwise I just get overwhelmed with what's going on inside my head and I have no idea what's actually going on. Um, yeah, and I'm just learning, learning and, and upskilling every day in, in different circumstances, different ways, um, trying to figure out my schedules a bit better. And yeah, I'm kind of just really excited for that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, I feel like this is the next few months are going to be a lot of change, a lot of leveling up and getting better at things, and I'm very keen for that. I like to do better. I don't like just staying stagnant. I think that leads to just accepting the way things are instead of trying to achieve more and do better. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting, it's fun, and I'm very keen to see where the future takes us. So, yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say. Say, and we have about seven, eight minutes left. Um, you know, the the I think it was the second time I tried to record this video. I only made it five minutes, and then I was like, I really, I don't know what to say. My whole mind just went blank. Um, and it was probably because the audio was blasting in my ears, but now that it's not. I think I can think a little better. Um, yeah, uh, I'm very, very keen to see the rest of this video, um, the rest of this video, the rest of this build, which I haven't even done. So it's going to be as much as a surprise as it is for you as it is for me right now. Um, but I have some ideas. I'm definitely using some more wallpaper around, like, um, like the mural type wallpapers. I'm going to use them in the bedrooms. Um, and I think I'm going to make it so that there is one, one person per room, um, because otherwise, I don't know, I feel like I'll get a little overwhelmed and give up on it, and I don't want to do that. So, yeah, we're going to not get overwhelmed and not give up, because... I really want to get this build done and I'm really excited for it. So if you have any tips or tricks or opinions, feedback or anything like that, like that, definitely let me know down below um, what you think and feel about this build. Um, please ignore my terrible decor skills around the fireplace. I kind of just gave up and was like, I don't know, have that. You can do that. That one sounds good. All right, that looks good. All right, next. And that was basically it. So, yeah, I don't know. If you enjoyed this, if you like it, if you don't, definitely let me know down below. Um, because your feedback is always really appreciated. I love getting feedback from people. Um, sometimes it can be a bit harsh and I can be a little sensitive. I mean, I've never had feedback here that's been harsh on this, but I'm just saying, like, in general, in life. I have had feedback that has been harsh and I am a little sensitive baby. Um, but no, I, I still appreciate it because I can go away and be like, look, they weren't being mean. They were being constructively critical and I should take that on board. And it helps me not be so sensitive either. Um, which, yeah, I, I don't really like being a sensitive little baby all the time. So it's a good, good happy balancing act so if you have feedback if you say like i kind of hate the color scheme you went with i think it clashes it doesn't look good none of that's mean you can say that that's fine and i don't think i'll be offended by that because 
that's your opinion. That's how you feel. So I, I, I know that when I was much younger, I'd probably have a little cry by myself, but I'm not as sensitive anymore, thankfully. Um, I don't know why I was so sensitive as a kid. Like, there was no reason for me to be. Um, you know, it wasn't like people were babying me or anything like that, but I just, I just was a sensitive little child. And I'm thankful for the criticism I have received, like the constructive criticism I've received in my life, because it's helped me not be so sensitive and such a baby. Um, and it means like people who are trying to be mean, just, they don't get to me as much anymore because, well, you're just trying to be a jerk and I know you're trying to hurt me. And if I don't listen to what you have to say and I don't take it on board, you can't hurt me. Um, so yeah. That is a very weird tangent to go off on, but you know, there you have it. Um, I've really run out of everything to say. Okay. Uh, look, I will be streaming this later, tomorrow and Saturday. Um, check out my stream schedule if you would like to see when I release these videos. Um, I probably will not be increasing my video output. Even though I'm increasing my stream output, my increasing my stream output is basically just increasing my build time. Make sure that I have enough footage to upload. Right now I have zero footage. I mean, I technically have this footage, but the next video, I have no footage. But if by the time we get to the next video, I should have two more videos worth of footage and it's going to help me um, stay on track and ahead because I am... I'm maintaining pace, but uh, I think I need to get ahead, especially with um, uni getting a bit more hectic, if I can get a few more hours of footage under my belt, then I will not be as stressed. Um, and it also means I can get a few videos done in advance, and that way I can kind of let them go during the busy times, they'll be done, and I won't have as many to do, I can get more work done in advance, and it kind of helps me balance everything out. Um, and it helps me procrastinate less. I am such a procrastinator, it's terrible. But it helps me procrastinate way less, which is so good. Um, because then I'm not just sitting there twiddling my thumbs, I'm actually doing stuff because, well, I have so much to do. And that means when I do have time to procrastinate, it's, it's not even my procrastination time, it's just my relaxation time. Um, and I deserve that time. I mean, some could argue that you procrastination time you you've been overworking yourself and blah blah blah. no i i procrastinate for hours on end it's terrible um so i'm trying to differentiate between procrastination time and relaxation time um and that's why i'm trying to use my calendar a bit more because then i can be like look you have a whole hour here where you can do whatever you want it's not even like food or break or shower or anything like that it's an hour of absolutely purely nothing you can do whatever you want for that hour. Um, and then, yeah, it's not not as bad when I get to do whatever I want during that time period. Um, but anyway, we are very close to the end of the video now. And I just want to say, if you made it to this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know how you listen to me rant and ramble for hours on end. I mean, it's not hours, but, you know, whatever. But I really, really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video, which should be the bedroom, bathroom, living space upstairs. I'm super keen for uh, But yeah, thank you so much, and hopefully I will see you guys in that next one. Bye, guys.